everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Crash the uh, Landing Thingy Daily Dose with Lancey Poo. And as you all know, we have crash landed on a deserted desert island world where there's like no palm trees, hula girls, or anything to drink like rum. There's no Jack Sparrowing this crap up. So if you guys are enjoying the Daily Dose and are excited about, you know, continuing the Daily Dose, don't forget to slap that like button and leave a comment. And don't forget, I am taking suggestions for the next Daily Dose because the Daily Dose will only last for a couple of episodes. It won't be a long series. It'll simply be something we put out every single day. There you go. Glad I could be of assistance. Let's jump in there and get this party started. Where did we leave off? Of course. Yesterday, we made a bunch of things. Uh, what bunch of things? Let me think how to put this. We basically turned our whole base, making it look good. We got some more food. Uh, I did learn some new recipes. Uh, I mined a little bit more of our sand. You can see all the sand I've been mining uh, out of there. Uh, with the rice, the, the bowl of rice, we basically can just, we're good. Because we can eat the stock, and then we can eat the rice, and we never run out. We can just go back and forth. It's cool. But anyway, let's go on and build our vacuum hopper. Actually, I don't think we can build a vacuum hopper, because I don't think I can make any, uh, any obsidian. I, I don't know where to get lava buckets and water. That's going to be a problem. Let's get our book out and let's see what we can do. Actually, if it's just now getting daylight or so, we could go outside and look for those runes. Actually, I think we should go look for the runes if we can. Let's get a, let's, 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 let's do that this episode. Let's go on an adventure. Let's go try to find the runes that are stated in this book. Where's it at? Let's find it. It looks like you need to go scavenge on those city runes that we saw on the way down to this planet. So let's do that. Let's throw all our stuff away that we're not going to need. We're going to have to make some more food. Okay, so let's make some flour real quick. So to make flour, let me see where the pot is at. We're going to need, I think we need the mortar and pedestal. So add mortar and pedestal to rice. That'll give us flour. Perfect. Now we take our flour and a what is it? Hold on, hold on. I know what I'm trying to make. I just got to figure out what we need. What we need, we got our flour. Okay, so this is going to be our supply chest. This is where we're going to put the stuff that we have to take with us to the uh, to the runes. We're going to call this supply chest. All right, we're going to add that. We're going to bring our pot. We're going to bring our mixing bowl. And we're going to bring some rice so that we can make more stuff down the road. Uh, we're going to bring our one piece of dirt because that could come in handy in case we need it. We'll bring our rice seed. We'll bring an apple in case we need that. Bring some of this. Bring some of that. All right, we're going to bring some zombie flesh. Might need this. All right, food, bullets, ammo. There we go. I've repaired all my armor. I've got my food in this bucket right here. We have everything we're going to need for this journey. Uh, I think we'll be okay. I don't know what to expect. We're going to roll out, and hopefully good things are going to happen. If not, YOLO. Who cares? Let's see. Let's, uh, let's just go. You yeah, ain't scared. Don't be scared. That's all you got to remember. Just don't be scared. If you're scared... Well, that's not good. So don't do that. Be scared, that is. We're going to take these, because you never know when you might need some, like, uh, really, like, really good, um, some really good blocks. We're off to see the wizard. I'm going to go up into the watchtower, see if it's daylight really quickly. If it is, then we'll just, hold, we'll, we'll go. I, I wish I knew what time it was. Let me see if I can see the sun. The sun is over, I don't know. I don't know where the sun's at. Doesn't matter. Let's take all. Actually, if we bring our bed with us, we'll be fine. Let's just uh, let's just bring our bed with us. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. We bring our bed with us. We go to sleep whenever we want. Where's our bed at? Ah, uh, da 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 da. Little bed there. We've got our bed. We are off. We are headed out. We wish us good luck in our adventures. Now I don't know exactly which way this thing is, but let's go on and waypoint this. This is home base. Okay, home base has been waypointed, and we're off. We have left home base. We are headed south. Uh, south. This is Captain's Log. Star date. I don't even know anymore. We're headed south from our crash in hopes of finding a rune city thing. I don't have any idea which direction it is. They didn't give me any waypoint. All I know is if I can continue in this direction, we should find it. I hope. Or not. I can see. Oh, dude, look how cool our base looks from here. It's like a little tower. It looks tight. I like it. I wish there was a way to, like, pull up my mini map. I know there is. I just don't remember which button it is. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want a backpack. How do I get a backpack? Oh, by the way, I'm sprinting. We should set up little, like, huts along the way. So, like, if we something happens, we can fall back to that location. That would probably be a good idea. Over the... I found it! Repeat, I have found the city. It wasn't that hard to find. It was right back here. I have found the city. It is right there. I don't know what to expect. There she bees. It's some kind of desert city. It looks evil. There's evil presences around there. Okay, hold on. I'm going to need to get some food out of here real quick. 
All right, the stock is good. We need some monster jerky. We, let's not eat our good stuff yet. Let's just eat the monster jerky. Okay, here we go. We're going in. We're moving in. Be ready. We don't know what to expect here. We're locked and loaded. We don't even care anymore. Prepare yourselves. What is this? Blackstone gravel. I don't know if we need it, but I'm taking some of it just to have it. We needed to bring this back and test it. We don't know what it could be. It could be, uh, there, it could be anything. We don't know. All right, be, be, be ready, be ready. We don't know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you thought you had us. The village people have arrived. Yeah, you thought you had me. Oh, there's a spawner. Got it. Spawner down, spawner down. So now that we know that this place has spawners, we got to remember one thing. We have to be extremely careful. That is an elevator block. Oh, a chest. Ah, oh, please don't. Got it. This building is secure. Oh my God, we got a cobweb, you guys. We got a cobweb. Holy shit, do you know what this means? I don't think you know what this means, but I'm gonna show you when we get back if we're not dead. Let's lock this area down. I like this. This is perfect. It's getting nighttime. Um, We'll lock this area down. This will be base camp zero of the forgotten city, all right? I, can't, I don't know what that means. This is gonna be our, this is just gonna be where we hold up. For the night in case we get stuck here tonight we're gonna secure the location and we will protect this as our own or something like that i don't know it sounds good dude i'm excited you have no idea we've got we just got the the duel of the whole I, i'm I, i'm excited man we got a freaking cobweb we got a cobweb i like this city this city is gonna be good to us i can tell also there's uh, some desks so we'll be able to write like a journey a uh, journal or something and tell of our exploits all right, what is this, marble? We'll take that marble. There's nothing on the wooden desk, but we'll keep the wooden desk. Like I said, I know you guys are wanting to explore and see what the city holds, but we have to use our military training and hold out. We also found water, that's good. Luckily we came with like eight things of water though. Also, I uh, think we should, if we make it back alive, one of the things that we should do is um, secure, like start making a clone of ourselves in case we do die. We're getting to the point where it's probably gonna be a safe bet for us to do that. Uh-oh. I did not mean to do that. That could have been bad. There could have been, there ain't no telling what could have been up there waiting for us. Okay, nighttime is definitely almost here. So we need to, yeah, we need to secure this location and go to sleep ASAP so that nothing comes and kills us. Going to sleep if it'll let me. All right, so we went on and we went to sleep. We are good now. Uh, we made it through the night. We are dying of heat stroke. So uh, let's go on, whip out our supply canteen thingy and go on and redo our camel pack. Okay, I know there's monsters around. I do not know where they are. So we need to like basically break out and sprint away and look back. Let's do it. All right, that building is now our secure. They are on the second floor. I can see them from here. They are on the second floor, uh, but there you go. We know where they are. Let's go over here. We'll start on this side now, and we'll sweep the outskirts of the city before going towards the inner. Actually, we should probably secure that whole building before we take off. I think that's what we should do. We should secure the whole building before going to the next building. I just know that there are mobs on the next floor, so I'm not sure how to proceed. Actually, I take that back. I know exactly how to proceed. I don't know why I acted like I didn't. I am a professional. I know what we have to do if we're going to live through this we just have to noob tower up look through the window and uh and we'll be good unless that mob up there has an arrow okay looking in the room i see the tar oh, the target is some type of enderman i have confirmed it he's kind of blue we just have to look at the ground okay i need to kill him all right i'm trying for it got him repeat target is down target is down looking for a spawner looking for a spawner any spawners no spawner repeat this is Lancey Poo. There are no spawners. We have taken out the blue demon from hell. The blue demon from hell, a.k.a. Eddie's little buddy, is down. Okay, cool. I see nothing on this floor that we really need. Uh, proceeding to the next floor, I'm actually thinking about maybe we should build a tunnel here and use this base right here as uh, one of our forward observation bases. Like, we should take over this tower. We should redo the tower, like, legitimately get rid of all the windows and make it, like, lock down like a super fortress and use this as our base of operations. That would be sick. Okay, there was an Enderman spawner. It was hidden, but we did find it. There was a hidden Enderman spawner. What I'm thinking is if there's a lot of spawners in these buildings, the next building we locked down, we can make an entire building into a mob spawner. All right, one more floor to go, guys. Let's go on up there and see what they got, yeah? All right, here goes nothing. Going to the next floor. The floor looks to be safe, but we do know that there could be a hidden spawner in there. All right, there was a skeleton spawner in there. We did get rid of it. There you go. Floor secure. More water bottles and cobwebs were found. We can continue up. I think we're almost to the top, but I think there is also one more floor. We need to go see, though. Um, I'm thinking we should go back to base and get some torches and come light this place up and really turn this into a some kind of base. Okay, I have made it to the roof. Uh, there's concrete on the roof. It doesn't look like any other materials. 
From what I can tell of this city, uh, the buildings look about the same. Nothing super special, but we haven't got to the interior of the city. We're just on the outskirts. Okay, so I'm going to throw in here all the stuff that we don't really need with us right now. I'm going to do exactly what I said. We are going to secure this location as a forward, uh, a, like, base post. We're going we're gonna to make this a forward post. I, I don't know what we're going to do at this forward post, but that is what I want to do here. I think that's the best bet. So I'm going to lock this area down. We're going to make it look a little better and a little bit more secure, and we're going to go from there. We need to go back, and we need to get torches, though. So I'll be right back, guys. going to run back. Actually, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to set another waypoint here. This will be our FOB, forward observation base. Forward observation base complete, and I'm going to teleport back to our other base because there's no point in running. There you go. It is not against the rules. We can teleport. There we go. Teleportation activated. Okay, so some things we need for our new, like, uh, our new camp up. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. What we're, what that is going to be, it's not going to be our uh, new base. It's simply going to be our base for when we're raiding the city looking for more gear. If that makes sense. That's what it's going to be. All right, let's make some new food. I should be able to make uh, more of my rice. All right, going to waypoint back to our FOB, and we're going to secure this area with torches so that there's nothing to worry about. Everything is done. This base is more than secure. It is time to continue on our journey and see if we can find other things that are useful in this town. Or, I don't know, man. I, we're pretty good. I don't know if we should continue searching or if we should, like, retreat back and, uh... Actually, we'll continue searching a little later. I'm gonna run back to base now, and I want to show you guys some, uh, some other things that... Or some of the things I want to show you before. Teleport to home base. Okay, so everybody knows I freaked out earlier, and I was like, okay, look at this. I want to show you guys something really cool. Uh, I freaked out about the... The, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? The, the, the... Oh, we're out of water. I freaked out about the cobwebs. Now, the reason I freaked out about the cobwebs is because I was trying some stuff on another world of mine because I was trying to beat the system, and I, the only way I was able to beat the system was with cobwebs, so GG for us. Except the cobwebs are back at the other base, it looks like. Okay, makes sense. So let's go back and we have to go waypoint again. Okay, so the thing I wanted to do, I can't show you right now, so now I feel bad. I'm sorry, I'm a bad person. I feel like a poop head. So there you have it. Lancy Poo Towers, the crash landing area. The whole building is not secure, simply the bottom floor. We'll get the whole building secure as quick as we can. I don't want to do too much. The next episode, I want to do a full-on exploring the area kind of thing. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if you're enjoying the series, please don't forget to slap the like button. I'd really appreciate it. We'll catch you on the flip side. Bye, everyone.